now that I'm walking more or less pain free, it's time for me to return to the dojo. Obviously I can't do all the things I usually do, but I can use my hands. So I started the first session off with some speed bag training. It was a little rough, but I got the hang of it eventually. After that, I attempted a combo ladder. If you don't know what that is, it's when you make up a combo. For example, jab, cross, hook, cross, uppercut, cross. Then you start with the jab, then you do a jab, cross. Then you do a jab, cross, hook. Then a jab, cross, hook, cross. And a jab, cross, hook, cross, uppercut, cross. And you just repeat that a million times. Unfortunately, the hooks hit my hip. Felt off. You can see in the video that I wince sometimes. So I eventually just decided to switch to jab crosses because I could do them more or less pain free. Obviously I can't be hopping around, jumping around the bag either, but I owe it something. I then eventually started to add some checks, followed by some faint head movements, and eventually I added some different elbows. So I started getting into this whole thing, and here you can clearly see I'm doing too much. Listen to your body, if it hurts, just don't do it anymore. To take the load off my shoulders a little bit, I started with some supported squats, because I've not been doing them too long, and eventually I transitioned into regular bodyweight squats. Clearly the range of motion isn't quite there yet, but I'll get there. I then opted for some weighted shadow boxing. I'm personally not a fan. I can get into that some other time. But it's what I've got and it's what I'm gonna do. Of course, I ended up getting video bombed. Enjoy. Yes, I've just been doing jab crosses, I eventually added some uppercuts. All in all, I can say I recommend doing all these workouts sitting, because every hit did actually cause some discomfort in the hip. And as always, take it easy.